Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode. And in the previous episode, we did add this ratnecked wallaby in our zoo with a cute little shelter building right over here, and just a, a pretty uh, simple habitat right over here. Like, not everything has to be super extreme. But it still looks very beautiful with like the grass and the rock formations. But before we jump into this video, I would like to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. Because at Instant Gaming, you can get a really great discount on Planet Zoo and all its packs, but also many other great games like The Sims, Jurassic World Evolution, Prehistoric Kingdom, City Skylines, Farming Simulator, and so many other awesome games. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to the website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. And also like this being in an angle, like this path is going slowly down right over here. And right over here to the right side, you can go to, uh, to this African region. But uh, we still have like this, this spot right over here that needs to be filled up and actually, I am thinking to remove these exhibits. Uh, well, not remove, to move them. Um, I, I feel like maybe we should just add them somewhere over here. And like, we're also probably going to have like an orangutan area right over here. Maybe we can have like this exhibits reptile building with only exhibits on uh, that side right over there. So you know what? I'm just going to move these guys because I think that might be... Uh, wait, am I able to move them? Okay, this looks good. So now let's go here. Like, obviously these exhibits are going to change at some point then. But this might be just a very good solution to, to move these guys and then have that area on that side for only... Australian areas and like the entrance to the Australian area. I have no idea. Oh, yes, I am able to connect these. Am I able to connect this to here as well? Why? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Why did I get like a different path color all of a sudden? Okay, can I connect these two? Can I, can I just go straight forward here? This is going to be a really big mess, but at some point, can I connect that? Uh, uh, yes, can I not? Oh gosh. Okay, wait. Can we just make this a little bit bigger? Oh, why? The path system can sometimes be such a uh, such a biatch. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't connect that. So I'm just going to connect it like this. I, I just want to make sure that all the exhibits are reachable. That is for now the only thing I care about. If I just do this... I can connect that one and just connect this. Like, this is all going to change. We're going to have, a, like, a, a grid-based area, probably. But now, all the exhibits are reachable, which is good. All we now need to do is have, one, donation boxes. Because we don't want to miss out on the cash. And we also, I, I think this is enough for now. And we also need to make sure, like, we, in the previous episode, we actually worried about the keepers uh, not being able to reach it. Like, we got some protesters in and stuff. So, we do need to make sure that the work zone for the exhibit is going to be changed. So, these two will be out of the work zone. And I think this area... Let's see. This is the Javalski's horse, right? I think so. So that is the closest staff building and keeper hut. I hope we will not get any issues here because the horses are also like a pretty big pain. But <laughs> we're going to try and see if this works. So the only thing we need to do now is move because I'm a little bit worried. Like, like I think it was Tilly that was like on the other side of the zoo on, on their way to to the staff building right over here i have no idea what happened there but it was just super weird 
So we did move, Ashley. So now we're going to move. Oh, what are you doing, Tilly? Why am I not able to move you? You are probably doing some kind of. Okay, there we go. Some kind of action with the exhibits or something, and then you were not able to reach it. Like maybe, maybe now we actually can just remove one of the keepers. Like there's a path right over here going straight to those uh, those staff buildings. Th this should be all right. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. That means that we can remove all these paths. Like, do we really need that generator right now? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, there should be a generator right over here. But if I remove this one, I think we, I think we could, maybe, maybe not. Do we need it? Maybe for this little corner right over here, we probably do need it. So I'm going to, Keep this one connected somewhere. Maybe just have the path going to the back side. So we are able to like remove all these paths right over here. And shall we like, well, we can just remove these donation boxes. Not really a big deal. And now I'm just going to connect like this. This, this, this uh, generator is going to be moved probably. I'm going to have a longer length. But for now, we're just going to keep it in this little corner right over here. Oh, there we go. We can just connect it to, to the exhibits. They're not even moved that far away. <laughs> so right over here, I think I'm going to add some koalas. And I also want to make like a proper entrance from here into the Australian area. And from this side into the Australian area. So when guests want to go from Asia to australia they they will have a proper entrance and then if they go further right over here they go into africa i wondered we also should add like an african or an asian sign i actually don't know we did not do that for any of the other areas like we have a cute where is that we have a cute little area right over here so i don't know we're just probably going to copy paste that one maybe change it slightly and then just move them to these areas well can we just do that i mean it's it's like one blueprint I'm not sure if this is going to match here or that it fits in it's a smaller pad but we can make it a little bit tinier that's no problem like the <laughs> wait should we just remove the rocks right over here I think that actually could work. Is that like part of blueprints? I think it is. Just remove this and then we should be able to 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 squeeze that in. Just make it look a little bit better. Okay, the way the trees are not in the blueprint. So we can just select these like that. Oh, there is a donation box hidden around here. So what if we copy paste this one now to the side? Like, we want to have a proper entrance, but I don't really mind to just use the same entrance. Like, once we do the tour, you will probably enter just one, and then you will see the backside when you leave the area again. We we can actually squeeze this in here with a, a few adjustments. I think this is going to be fine. And then move this tree a little bit further away. I think that this could work. And then we have... Like a proper entrance to Australia from this side as well. And then, then we can just, like, I, I am going to adjust them a little bit. But just to, to keep them in the same style. And we could also just add this one right over here. Also just move the rocks a little bit to the middle maybe. Just a little bit to connect it more nicely with the path. But I, I feel like this could work. Am I able to, like, change the path right over here just a little bit further away? Wait, why did you show me? Well, actually, this is fine. This is completely fine. We can just move this donation box somewhere in here and hide it away a little bit. I, I just really do like to hide away my donation boxes, guys. <laughs> uh, but th that could work. And then just have this properly filled up. Maybe just a little wall right over here to... to Maybe just continue this wall or something to, to split off this area nicely with like, this is, this is still Asia. And now 
when you move into this area, you move into Australia. I think this definitely is a really nice idea. Also, what I really wanted to check real quick,、uh, I wanted to check a few animals to see if everything is going well with like the amount of animals. Like we had the Siamangs, for example. We started with two, and now we have five. I mean, that's just super amazing. How are you doing? Oh wow, you have so many scars. <laughs> Oh, you see, right where you start to sing. Oh, I love that. But yeah, but the Siamangs are doing a really good job actually because they are like their space mount is good, their climbing amount is good, and、uh, like they they can ha handle like a a big population group.、Uh, but yeah, it's it's all because of like the mom and dad and and bringing in some babies in this zoo to expand the family. And I just really, absolutely love that. Okay, let's have a quick look right over here because the binturongs are growing up. Like, how many animals can you handle? Wait, where was it again? Oh, here. Okay, so it's not too busy yet. The space is still good. I do feel like we might want to put. A few up for adoption, even though we don't have that many issues. Hi, uh, ugly, pretty, pretty animal. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Let's see. If we just go to here, we now have four. It's it's actually not really a big deal. I do feel like I want to give some contraceptives here to to. I I think these two are the, are the kids. So just give these two contraceptives just to make sure that we're not getting any inbreeding. But I I think these guys are doing all right at this point. I see a lot of、uh, oh gosh yeah the butterflies are getting some some offspring. But we don't really have to look into that as because we have like the management all set up. We just looked at the giant ant eater, so I don't really think that we need to worry about that. How about? Our flamingos. Didn't we like reduce the amount of flamingos like a lot a few episodes ago? We now have thirteen. I don't really think that is really an issue, to be honest. No, look, they can definitely handle a lot more in their habitat. So yeah, and regarding terrain, we also really do not have to worry about any of these flamingos. Oh man. This still looks so beautiful, even though like you can tell like this is one of the first habitats. Like how much I improve with my building skills and stuff along the way. How about the the the, the tapirs right over here? Like how many do we have? Okay, the other population is two, so that seems to be going super well. Look at you having a little swim. Oh gosh, these guys are just so adorable. <laughs> But the otters we also just reduced, right? Like we don't have that many、uh, Asian otters in here anymore. It was a lot of fun though to have so many Asian otters in this habitat. But we now only have four, and one is up in the training center, about to be hopefully adopted by any one of you. That would be just super amazing. We did take care of the rhino. Oh, actually, we didn't take care of the Thompson gazelle. The Thompson gazelle actually has a lot more in here. So this one is the alpha negosi or something like that. I'm not really sure how to say that. These two are elderly. So if we just reduce these, yes, just put these two up for adoption. I think this is all right. Now we have a little. A little Thompson gazelle right over here. Hello, adorable! You're so pretty. Look at this one as well. They just look so gorgeous, even in the shelter. They're just so adorable. <laughs> It doesn't count. The baby bongos have that noise too, and they're the cutest. I'm just not impressed by any other animal that has the same audio. Can't help it. No, bongos. Are the cutest bongos? It is. How about? Oh, that's right. 
we had an albino gorilla in here. And you actually grew up. Hi. Look at this beauty. Now I am curious, like, are you already pregnant? You're not. Chipo is not pregnant yet. You are gorgeous. I'm so curious, like, what color offspring you are going to get with Boquito. Time will tell. We have to wait and see about that. But Chipo is an adult now, which is just super amazing. Wait, did we actually get breed a habitat species? Thank you. Even though we are doing really well with our money, we don't really have to worry about that. So how are the fennec foxes doing? I, I have the feeling that we also did reduce... Uh, not entirely sure. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Can't handle this adorable face. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. But they it feels like we have a lot of the Fennec Fox in here. Nine with two offspring. So who are the alphas in here? I actually can't really tell. So maybe we should just check. Oh gosh, yes, Fennec Fox. So who are the alphas? Okay, these two are the alphas. So let's just reduce this again. They're actually quite old already. Let's see. Seven. Oh, well, I think they can handle. They, they can bring us a little bit more offspring. So I feel like we should maybe reduce this a little bit. Maybe just keep it like this and then put all these three up for adoption as well. I think this could work. I think this could work. I think they have a little bit more time to bring in some more offspring. But we also make sure that it's not like too oh, overpopulated. That's the word I think it is. <laughs> okay, we checked the Aussies. Shavalsky's horse. Let's just quickly check this of Shavalsky's horse as well because... It feels very busy in here. How many do we have? Six adults. So we have one male, which is Jew. They all have contraceptives. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to stop giving... Should we do that? Oh, we could actually just do that. And I feel like we're just going to... Reduce this with two horses. These are too old. Wait, you know what? This is also an elderly. Just, let's just... Uh, we can't release you. We can't re put you up. Uh, or release you in the wild. Or put you up in the uh, rehome. I think this is good. Let's just reduce this to the amount of three for now. So they have some space again to, to reproduce and make a big family. How about the elephants? Like, the elephants got a huge extra space. Like, they have the biggest habitat of all in the zoo. It's extremely cool. What are you doing? Are you hopefully sleeping? Yes, you are sleeping. You are the alpha male bringing in lots of little elephants in here. So they're all sleeping around here, but now they have this huge new area. But it's barely being used. <laughs> but they have it. They have it. Well, I guess the, the family just enjoys to be at the old section right now. But I mean, I hope, I hope. Did anyone use this? They didn't. They are accessible, right? Yes, they are all accessible. Is this accessible? This feeder. That feeder is accessible. This one should be accessible. This one should be accessible. Right. Okay. Then I, I kind of feel like maybe we want to reduce the amount of food and stuff in here. I do really like that feeder. So maybe if we just remove that one, then maybe we can try and make sure that the elephants will go to this particular area a little bit more often when they get some food. Like, this one is now right away bringing in some food. If we just speed this up a little bit. This one is being filled, but obviously, this is not... Wait, where are you going? That is no feeder anymore! <laughs> what? Okay, well, maybe... 
the keepers are like they they come in and they have like this 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 path already being like oh yeah you have to go there and there and there and I just removed it but that path is not going to change. Oh, we have this barrel feeder here as well. Look, 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 the elephants are already coming in this direction as well. Where are you going? You're you're filling up so many of them. I absolutely love that. Oh, I do really like that. And not only this one is not being filled, but this is hopefully going to help. Like, is, is this one is gone? Then I think it's it's totally fine. You know what? I'm going to move this toy. We don't have a toy on this side, do we? No, I don't think so. I'm going to move this toy to this section because I think this is also going to help to attract more of the elephants to this side. But I'm not even worried about like the amount of elephants in here. We we have tons of space for a big elephant's family. We actually are earning some money, so I, I feel like I want to just put this on grade 2, even though, like, elephants do cost us a lot of money. But, oh man, I do really hope that they are going to bring in some more offspring. That would be just super amazing. So we actually did already check onto the white tigers. They, they are about to grow up, but I think... It's just, oh look, it's just not about time just yet. It almost is though. They are soon, I think at age three or three and a half, they will be growing up. But we can enjoy these beauties for a little longer. <laughs> Man, I love these animals so much. But yeah, it's about time to add a new animal. Wait, what is that? Dangerous fighting. Oh gosh, there's probably a male gorilla that that did grew up. Is there still fighting going on? I, I don't think so. So B B Bodua did grew up. Bodua needs to go. I'm so sorry. I actually did not check that, but that's a very good thing. Facility is out of power. Oh, that is not good. Where is that generator? Oh, that's that should be this one. Call a mechanic. It broke down. Uh, the toilet block is also in this range. Right. Okay. Well, this is going... Uh, where We're going to fix that. That is going to be fine. Uh, research complete. Do really like that. I'm just going to remove this right over here. We have... Let's see. Yeah, we need to do a little bit more research on these animals. But that's going to be fine. We are going to add a little koala habitat in... Where is... Where are you? Here is our Australian area. So we can actually finish up this particular area in Australia. I start to doubt myself if we should add another animal right over here. Now we have some space. Let's just wait and see. We're going to start working on this area. We also are... Oh, I already did get some koalas. We have four koalas so one male and three females that are going to live in our beautiful tropical zoo so without further talking let's go and start building
It actually always is so much fun to wrap up like an area, even though it, we are not exactly or like completely done yet because we still have like one area that we could potentially just add another animal. So we'll keep it uh, up to you guys what you want. Let me just first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was afraid so. Ah. <laughs> so what I actually did, I, I did hide some 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 curbs right over here so i was able to to paint this in a normal color but no the the curbs are just broken oh that's such a pity i just have to add i'm just going to add one one right over here i mean this this should already help with the gas not crossing here right i think so like these gas will now go out from here Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I thought they were moonwalking. Ah, oh, but it's a pity. But okay, well, at least this should already work now fine. But yeah, the curves are not really doing what they are supposed to do. So here we have the meerkat's habitat right over here at the, at the backside. People get out from here or walk around the meerkat's habitat. And then right over here, they can enter Australia. This is one of the other entrances that we made. And this one has not been changed too much. I only did change the angle of this one just to make sure that I would not like go through that big tree right over there. So here we have the cute kangaroo, uh, kangaroos, the wallabies. And then right over here, we have the koala habitat. And I'm, I'm really happy with how this, this is looking. One thing I do have to note right away, it is too small for the four koalas that I did adopt. I actually don't like it that you are standing still right over here. This should be maybe a little bit higher. So this is the side here of their 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 shelter building, their indoor section, backstage area, whatever you want to call it. And this is like a little educational area right over here. We have some conservation signs here with uh, three different things. And then we have educational signs here for the koalas as well. Do you really like how this has turned out, especially right over here? If you have seen the speed build, you know, you did see me like put down a family and then notice that the kids were a little bit too tiny. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make these, these little steps so, so the kids can just step up and then look into this koala habitat. Look at these cuties. So yeah, the habitat itself, I couldn't do too much. I was a little bit worried about the climbing frames, but in the end, it turned out to be fine. Like that bigger tree that you have from this one is like more than enough if you would add that one. But it was a little bit too big for me. So I did add this tree, which is like half of the climbing frame, uh, frame uh, rating. And then I just added like these logs here and there and these, these logs or... or Branches on the floor do also count as... Oh, 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 do we have some more? Yes, thank you. Need some money. Oh, well, we don't need it anymore, but still. If you can check here, we have Oscar. And Oscar, like, is exactly the right amount for two koalas. So if they get a baby, that's going to be exciting. But it's only going to be one, so I'm not too worried about that. Climbing frame is doing really well. So as you can tell, if we go to the heat maps, the traversable area is pretty decent. But I had to make sure it wouldn't it wouldn't be less because then we would have an issue. But they are able to climb into this tree, which is like the most logical thing in the end to have like a tree for koalas for, for them to climb in. And then right over here, we have like this, this backstage area now. Okay, here we are. <laughs> I did not have any example of how a koala backstage area... What? Oh my goodness, I need to add some signs here to, to do not disturb. My goodness. But yeah, I had no example of how this looks. And I wanted to add like these chain link fences right over here. And then I was like, no koalas will be able to climb up there and then i was like i probably need to do something with like these straight railings however i do kind of feel like they would also in real life be able to maybe climb up onto there but I, it might be a little bit difficult now <laughs> i wasn't quite sure what to do with like potential gates that would be able to close 
So I thought like maybe these kind of things that you could like roll down or something like that. I know people make these and they look a lot more realistic, but I wasn't quite sure how to do that. And I thought like, you know what, this, this already at least gives the idea. And then, then there's just something that you can roll down so they can split off these koalas right over here. So this is like a little entrance area for, for the staff. But honestly, like koalas are not really that dangerous or anything like that. So I doubt the keepers would ever be using this for these cute little koalas. But you know, who knows? There might be a reason that they have to. So then they can have like these koalas split up a little bit. And then they have, oh, they have a little bit of water right over here. <laughs> this is pretty much the only water I, I should. <gasps> Do I actually have a keeper in here? Oh gosh, let's just quickly check that because I doubt that I did make a work zone already for the koalas. No, I don't think so. Okay, we need to fix that right away. The most nearby staff rooms are here. So we go, oh gosh, I keep forgetting that they changed this, but... This is working. Thanks to you guys, because I was just clicking here. I was going crazy and it just didn't work. But now it is working. So just going to put you in the koala work roster so you can bring some water because these guys, we don't want them to, to dehydrate or anything like that. Koalas. There we go. So this should be good. This should be working fine. It's really close. So yeah. I, I am totally happy, like, guess don't use these. But yeah, I guess there's just no no reason to do that. This is like a shortcut, so I can see why guests are a little bit naughty and want to go there. Let's go back right over here. So yeah, the backstage area, maybe not super realistic. But hey, I'm just trying to figure this out and trying to do it more often. And, and I'm already uh, pretty proud of myself for, for doing anything. But yeah, it, it, we don't have a super big koala habitat, but we don't need to. Like, koalas are super cute and, and fluffy and tiny, so they don't really need that much space. Like, I, I do would like to see you climb. Like, I don't know what happened here. Like, koala should be climbing the whole time. But they are just not climbing at all. I really do hope. Are you going to... Climb into the tree? No. <laughs> no. You can. They can go in, but I don't know what it is. For some reason, it just really is a pity that koalas, even though they should be climbing, they're always on the ground. Uh, a tour group we arrived. Oh, gosh. That's a, that's a message I haven't seen for a long time. Overcrowding, Siamang. Wait. Since when? I, th I thought you could just have a big family. Uh, wait, we have five. So one adult. Oh, no, wait. Did I just see? This is a young adult, but there is also a young male adult, Kadak. And Kadak is having a really low welfare. Why is that? Oh, because of the space? Okay, wait a second. Can we go to the Zoopedia? So five males up to five females. Dominated... Uh, dominant mated pair leading the family. I am not entirely sure why this is an issue. Like, why is that male? This, this should be good. Or am I am I reading this wrong? Do let me know in the comments down below. But I, like, I am assuming that that the game just thinks like, oh yeah, no, there are too many males in here right now. But looking at the Zoopedia, it should be all right. Or or am I really going crazy? But yeah, our Australian area is really. Uh, taking some shape. We also, by the way, have a different entrance now right over here. So we have the Shavalski's horses. This is beautiful habitat. Oh gosh, look. Oh. Gosh, I just really love this animation so much. It's so adorable. It really is so cute. Okay, but now, so we have like, uh, did these guests just came from there? I'm not sure. There's a toilet right over here. There's an ATM right over here. This is the, this is like a little uh, backstage area for the guests. So I did add like these planters here on the side, which just match with like the rest here of these planters. I'll, I could actually add these poppy flowers in there as well. Do we have food and drink shops? 
there was an information stand right over here, which I deleted, and I will show you why. So here I did change a little tiny bit. I added the kangaroo, the rat kangaroo statue right over here. It's, <laughs> it's the rat kangaroo, I know, but, you know, we just only have this one, which is like an animatronic, which is really cool, but I barely use it. And I thought, like, you know what, this might be the perfect spot for it to start using it. I like it. I do like it. So then we go in here. And this is the space that we still have left for a potential animal. I mean, just name name an animal, Australian, of course, in the comments down below, which one, the last one, should we add in this area? And the one that is, is being called the most, we will be adding in this spot. So do let me know in the comments down below. Right over here, we now have the information stand. So I did move it a little bit. I thought this this awning here from the roof is just a perfect fit to have a little a little counter or something like that underneath it. Like this guest would be, or this staff member is super happy, of course, that this is like, uh, like, like, <laughs> how do you say it? Dry. So, so if it rains, you will not have any issues here. So I think it's just a really nice spot for it. And uh, yeah, so the guests can like buy adoption packs and stuff right over here. I, th I think it's just a perfect spot. And then on this side, we also have a little entrance for the koala viewing gallery. Look, they're still walking around. Is there already food in here? Because I just really want to see you guys eat from here. That would be just super amazing. Can we just call a keeper? Is that, is that one already filled? No, it's still not filled. So are you... I'm going to write that down. Woohoo! Wait, what? They don't need feeding right now. They're not hungry, but I want water. Oh gosh. It is accessible. You should add the add water in here. Can you please? Oh gosh. Maybe it turns out that I have to add that ugly water pipe again. I just hate it so much. Oh look, we have more exhibit species. What do we have? The NFO welfare. For this male Siamang. Oh, well, it's now good. There is not even a, a space issue anymore. Last meal quality. We can work on that. We can work on that. Isn't this toy already stuck since the beginning of this series? Let's just raise this, this to the maximum. Uh, we have some butterflies getting some offspring. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just love that noise so much. Especially the little one when it tries to sing along. It's so adorable. Oh, here you are. <laughs> Jump! But yeah, okay. Oh, there's a talk starting right now. Oh, man. I do really hope that the koalas will not get any issues with the water. But I am definitely very happy with their habitat right now. Do let me know in the comments down below how you guys all feel of this new koala habitat and this new addition to this Australian area. And do let me know in the comments down below what last Australian animal you would like to see added in that empty spot. The one that is mentioned the most will be picked. So uh, choose it wisely and definitely do let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys!